Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Abduction. Hey, I'm Vertigo Electric. Tonight I'm playing this. Finally. After long last. Uh, quick shout out to Jay Frick, a uh, very benevolent buddy of mine who gifted me this game on Steam. Totally cool. <clears throat> so, uh, really quick background. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the Myst games from back in the day. Um, particularly 1 through 4 were, were uh, the ones that I uh, really played and loved them. And when I found out that the Cyan team, Cyan, whatever, was making this, I, I think I shed a tear because I was so excited. And here it is! So let's take a quick look at the settings. <clears throat> Character shadow, I'll leave that off. I um, think I will have mostly defaults here. Sounds good to me. Graphics. Man, I want the graphics to be like the best. Let's do auto detect. Probably the <clears throat> Ooh, I can have like epic everything basically. So that's cool. Motion blur? You know what? Let's do a tiny bit of motion blur like that. 0 0.022, sure. Just a second. Okay. Would I like to keep these new settings? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. So, <clears throat> the recommended system requirements, I, I guess that means the recommended system specs, um, are kind of high, actually. Um, it recommends a, a solid state drive, which I don't have. So, I might be looking at some some uh, long load times but I guess we'll just have to see how long we actually are. Game name! Ooh, uh, we'll just do vert can I have spaces? plays abduction navigation time I like that they have the point and click here. I think I'll go with free roam um, even though the point and click is you know more um, uh, you know, like the originals, but uh, so character shadow off. Let's play. Okay. <clears throat> Spend so much time getting ready and setting up. Let's actually play the game. I kind of feel like. Well, that didn't take very long to load. <gasps> oh, look, I'm in the game. I'm officially playing Abduction, guys. I'm officially playing it. Okay. All right. Now, before I do anything, I hate to get through all of this and find out that there's something wrong with the recording. So I'm going to stop stop the recording here, check it, make sure it's good, and then I'll start the recording back up. Uh, you guys probably will barely even notice anything. I'm just going to just tie them together later. So let me do that right now. And I'm back. It's like, it's, it's like I never even went anywhere. Okay. So let's start exploring. This is awesome. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Pam and Vera, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that last of light. I think I want to turn up the game audio for you guys a little bit. Real quick, turn that up. Should be a little better. So that was kind of cool. Let's see. Use only designated campfire pits. This looks like a designated campfire pit. I'm swimming. Can I get in the water? Aw, oh, no swimming. Okay. That's where all of our new stories began. It streaked across the sky, 
mesmerizing, but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said, was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was. Oh, wait, how did I do that? Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, oh, was that space? we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you recall smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if it was some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt some kind of trepidation. That's pretty awesome. Yet, attraction. As we approached it and it approached us. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, wait. You all remember. There was no turning away. I think I'm going to accidentally be. Uh, it's space to take a picture, and I think I'm going to be doing that accidentally a lot. Purpose. I'm trying to jump. Spinning slowly until, well, found us, each of us. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and there must be. That voiceover is very strange. Man, screenshot that. Ladies and gentlemen, abduction. A mist for the new age. I heard it wasn't really as hard as the mist games, but whatever. I that's that's okay, I guess. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I just want to keep taking more screenshots. So, since I have the ability to just, I guess, snapshot anything on the screen, I don't really need to take physical notes. I actually got a sketchbook for this game. Like, I, before starting it up, I made sure I had a sketchbook so that I can, you know, like a journal. So I could write down clues and notes and drawings and things. And yeah, I guess I'm not going to have to do that. Uh, how do I access... What was menu? Escape? Photos. How come there's only... How come so only those? Delete that one. Sure. It's a really big, are you sure? Okay, what happened to my other uh, photos? Maybe it doesn't didn't save any of the ones from the... Let's see if it saved it. Yeah, there's that. Anyway. Welcome to Hunroth. What do we have here? So, yeah, I know we're kind of off to a slow start. I'm kind of messing with things. Figuring it all out. What is this? What is that flying thing? Looks like it might be carrying something, unless it just has long legs. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Can't go up here. What is all that? Why does this have that weird red? Is that some kind of clue? Is this a puzzle element? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Oh. Abduction, guys. We're playing it. Why are we playing it? What was that? Why is it all wavy? It's like a force field. Can I not go through here? Oh, I can't get through here. 
What? Oh, actually, look, it's it's almost like it's a like a different world. Hmm. I wish I could jump. I don't think there's a jump button. Cursor mode unlocked. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. Cursor mode locked. Okay. Alright. Anyway. Sorry. <clears throat> Speechless. So exciting. Oh, there's a... Let's go to the house. I'm stuck on a rock. Let's go to the house first. Can we... There we go. I did that because I can. Let's see. It's a good thing that this is kind of caved in right here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get up here. Because I can't jump. Farley. I don't know if there was a point to that, but Farley's Community Center? I wonder what this is for. Activates when I get near, and deactivates when I go away. It looks like it's got speakers on it. Some kind of audio thing. It's got a similar red flicker to the, like the rocks had. Warning, do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. That's a diagram? Uh, whoa. Oh, I thought I... Thought I saw something, never mind, whatever. Okay, it's locked. Let's go around the back. Oh, we can't. Well, let's... There's some let's see what's over here. Uh can we go up there? No. Now one thing Well, I don't know for sure. I was gonna I might as well say one thing about um oh what's that? Well there's the thing. It's like a bee. The thing about the um, point and click is that I feel like did anyone do anything? I feel like the point and click would be would have less distractions. Yeah, something definitely needs to happen with these rocks. My commentary sucks today. Dang, I'm sorry. I'm just going to play. If I have something to say, I'll say it. Uh, I don't want to play this game for a while. What do we have here? A big blockage. A plate. A wagon. Hmm. I don't feel like I've really seen anything particularly significant yet. If there's anything in here. Backer reward item. Hmm, 
interesting. I saw a, something appeared for a moment in the top right. I don't know. Whatever. Let's let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything in here I need. Not yet, anyway. Oh, look at that! Well, that was starting to do something for a second, and it then it stopped. Was it something I did? What is this? It's a button. Yeah. We have a healthy, thriving community here, as you can see. Our garden was planted years ago and has supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, schooling, and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. Many were brought here, like you, and some actually were born here. We all feel we are part of the whole. And a big hole it is. Hmm. Well. I'm assuming this is locked too. Yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. Some stuff. I'm sure these tracks have some significance. What do we have here? Whatever it is, I can just walk through it. That bee came out of this window. But what was it doing? What is this? Supposed to be a person in there, or because it it looks kind of cheap. Maybe it's good timing for you. I love that reference, though. The "Who the devil are you?" It's <laughs> it's from the first mist. All right, maybe it's good timing for me. No more waiting around. I guess I could do it all on my own if I had to. But well, could speed things up a bit with your help. First off, you should know that this whole place has been batting down for okay. that old car from Mofang Battle. And we gotta get everything unbattened. And I got me a bit of power here, but I'm gonna need it all. If you can concern yourself with that. This is just I don't know. I was expecting better quality than this. You look at it look at the like the cutout around the top of his head and Stuff. He doesn't look like he's actually standing in there. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well, I you know what? <laughs> I mean, everything else looks amazing, but one of my favorite things about um, the Mist series, even from well, from the first one to the fourth one, is the way they did the full motion video uh, integrated in with the you know CGI scenes and everything. I thought it was really cool, and I feel like it was even better done than well, this obviously, or not obviously, um, unfortunately is the word. 
Yeah, I don't know what that button's supposed to do. So I haven't actually seen a cart anywhere yet. Do I want it to go... I don't know which way I should turn these things. Well, whatever. Let's turn it. Or maybe I already turned it when I... I don't remember if I switched it when I came in. The waterfall. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself. I don't know, real. I don't really want to listen to him talk. That's cool. It's like a propeller. I guess. I guess it's cool. That's what we'll, we'll, I need to figure out what's going on. Oh, I didn't. There's something there. A mechanism of some quarrying. I don't know what that was. Okay. Um. Wait, what is that doing? It's like pulling that up, but that's then it just goes back. All right, let's go in here. Of course, it's locked. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I need to. Maybe I'm. Oh, that looks like a small, um, like sluice gate. I guess. Got to figure out how to get over there. Open that up, probably. Uh. Did I? S I didn't even go over there, did I? No, I did not. Ooh, yay! Here we go. Uh, let's go up first. All right, now I can open this. That's supposed to do something. Achievement unlocked, let it flow. So, then maybe I can open that. Let's see what's over, what else is over here. Ooh. weird. It's like I'm on some weird alien world, but inside this sort of bubble with its own independent ecosystem or something. Maybe. Alright. How many locked doors? So what is this? I wonder what that's doing. It doesn't look like I can interact with it in any way. I want to go back down. So let's go back down. So I've actually had this game for, well, about a week, really, more than a week, and uh, 
I've just been putting it off for whatever reason. Don't know why. Okay, so let's see if we can open this gate over here now. The water's flying, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, it looks like it, it might be pushing on the gates a little bit. Might, that might be enough. No, I still have something else I have to do, I guess. Oh, oh, I didn't even know. Okay, what it, so what does that do? What does that do then? Um, I don't really see the purpose. Can I get in here now? No? Should it maybe be the other way? Let's see. Hmm. Wish I had more to say. I feel like I'm. I don't know. I'm just really lacking in commentary. I just. And it's nothing about the game. I just. It's just a. Thing. Another backer reward item. So I'm guessing maybe. People who have backed the game. Have certain. Items? Or, uh. Props in the game in the game that somehow relate to them. Why was I abducted in the first place? What is this place? Uh, I'm actually not feeling that great, which is really, really sucks, because I've been really wanting to play this game. The tree. Oh yeah, there's a tree back there. I don't know what this is supposed to do. I just, I just don't know. Is there any way to get up there? There's got to be a way to get up there. Oh, I have to. Hmm. Uh, hmm. See if there's any kind of markings, or clues. No, not really seeing a whole lot. Back at the house. I guess I could press this. Really 
What? It's dangerous. We're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, but, but don't panic. This is a decent place. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not like it's, you know, mixed signals or anything. Unroth, Unroth, Unroth. But is it fun, Roth? That's what I want to know. Is it fun? Margaret Hartnell and Anna Jackson. And. Well, that's Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Daniel. Hartnell, I guess. Or graves up there. Oh, I can go up there. Huh. What is this all about? Hmm. Yep, can't get out there. Maybe that laser is has something to do with the force field or whatever. Anything? Any clues over here? No. That's weird. It's like, it's. I feel like that there, there's supposed to be more. Like the place used to be bigger, and almost like this outer world is consuming it like it's I don't know it's this is back where I started these rocks have that weird glow to them Maybe this is where I started. Oh yeah, this is where I started. I came from over there. Do I have to see all these? Hello. Bonjour. Ciao. Hola. Hello. Shora. Ni hao. Welcome to Hunrad. My name is Yosef. I am the... What's the point in, like, greeting in all those different languages if you're just gonna say all the important stuff in English. Oh, Joseph, you're a weirdo. I just started the game. I'm already stuck. This is sad. Some missed veteran I turned out to be. See, I think I need to get rid of these rocks somehow. Alright, let's... Let's see. Turn this. Let's follow these tracks. Oh wait, we know where these tracks go. I want to follow them anyway. I want to see... I want to get a better idea. The track. Oh, it's just a stop. Okay. Um... So, nothing actually comes from this side. I feel like I need to find 
uh, like a cart or something and, and navigate it around. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna follow it. No, I can't go that way. It goes through there. Um, let's, let's let's try this way first. Okay, so it's just a stop. Well, maybe I need to bring some bang it here and then dump something in it. I don't know. So, we're going on 30 minutes. I don't really like to make my videos too long. Uh, so this will be the end of part one, I suppose. <clears throat> so, sorry sorry, my commentary is not that great right now. <laughs> I guess I just, um, I don't know. But the game I'm really excited about, and it's beautiful, and, and uh, you know, I want to I want to figure out what's going on here. So, stay tuned for the next part. Um, don't forget to click the like button, it really helps me out. And uh, I'll see you next time. Uh,